Ross Meha, I am inside the ICC headquarters. On this side, what you see is the top Congress leadership, including their organizational secretary, KC Venugopal, Ajay Makan, Gaurav Gogoi, Chhattisgarh Chief Minister Bhupesh Baghel. All these leaders are sitting on a Satyagraha episode and they are sloganering continuously. They are sloganering continuously against the ED, against the BJP. We'll try to speak to Gaurav Gogoi. Sir, sir, the kind of visuals that we saw today, how do you, how do you decode this? Rahul ji, sir, absolutely a black day for democracy. All the police officers are saying they have orders from the top. A home minister is ordering them to enter into Congress Party headquarters and beat up Congress Party workers. This only shows that they have made a mockery of Delhi police. They have made a mockery of the ED. All these police. They are men in uniform. They are not an extension of the BJP. They are not a cell of the RSS. So th that is why we are telling them and uh, protesting. And our protest will continue. We will not back down. We are not afraid. Mr. Gogoi, have you seen, you know, or remember in your uh, memory that any national party's national headquarters being breezed like this where police officials are chasing down the workers of the party in their own headquarters? No, no. Not only party workers, ordinary people who are here who have gathered, they are being beaten up. Journalists are being beaten up. This only shows that how autocratic and dictatorial this government has become. This is a black day and everyone is watching that there is absolutely, this is an attempt to terrorize the people of India. So uh, that was uh, Sneha, you just heard to Mr. Gogoi, who is MP from the Congress party, you know, saying that never in the history any political party, national political party's headquarters have been breezed like this one. And he is now slamming the BJP as well as the Delhi police. Uh, they, uh, Mr. Gogoi just said that Delhi police must remember that Delhi police is not an extension of the BJP. This must be remembered and recalled by the Delhi police. So those were the words of Mr. Gogoi speaking exclusively to India today. And I'll show you uh, the entire scenario inside the AICC headquarters and why, as to why this happened. You know, this... Just on the right side of your screen, where several leaders have been, are being detained. Workers, leaders of the Congress Party, members of Parliament, they're being taken away by the police. The Congress has sent a message saying that They've been taken to an undisclosed location. The allegation also has been about high-handedness on the part of the Delhi police. Several leaders have been hurt and injured in the clashes that have taken place. These are peaceful protests. Why can't we protest? Is this not a right? Is the question the Congress is asking? For the first time also... अरे ऊपर चल। as well. These are pictures, however, from the Congress office. Workers are being detained. Amit continues to be with us. Amit, right now, the Delhi police personnel are inside the ASSC headquarters. If you could get us those pictures as well. Uh, well, Sneha, the situation on the ASSC headquarters is such that this entire main entrance of 24 Akbar Road, the headquarters of the AICC, is being now guarded by the senior Congress leaders. They are holding a satyagraha as well as they are guarding their own headquarters, national headquarters. Why? Because the Delhi police officials, a few moments uh, before 
you know, had tried to chase down the Congress workers inside their National Party headquarters. And that is when Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary stood by uh, the workers of the Congress Party. And after that, several Congress leaders, including K.C. Venugopal, the uh, secretary, uh, organization secretary of AICC, he marched forward. You had uh, Bhupesh Paghel, you had Ajay Makan, all Gaurav Gogol, all these leaders coming at the front and guarding the national headquarters of the Congress party. And now they are alleging, making two serious allegations against the Delhi police. They are saying that, you know, number one, never in the history, uh, never in the history in the past, the national headquarters of a national party has been breezed in this particular manner by the police officials. So that is first allegation. Second allegation that is coming from the Congress party, Gaurav Gogoi just spoke to India today exclusively and said that, you know, the Delhi police should not act as an extension of the Bharatiya Janata Party. So these are massive allegations coming from the Congress party moments after, minutes after their national party headquarters were was breezed by the Delhi police officials. However, now the Delhi police officials have moved away a bit, a, a few meters away from the national headquarters of the Congress party. And what you see at the gates, gate, main entrance of the AICC is that Senior Congress leaders are holding a satyagraha of sorts and they are also guarding their own national headquarters. And this is happening uh, at a moment when you have Rahul Gandhi, the former Congress president, being questioned for the third day inside the ED office. At ED office as well, uh, you know, Sneha, we are seeing the visuals as to how Congress party workers are being detained one after other. The AICC on the other side has become the epicenter of the showdown between the Congress workers as well as the Delhi police. First, Mahila Congress workers were detained from the AICC headquarters. After that, Congress workers, IYC workers, Sevadal workers were forcefully detained, picked up from the roads and thrown inside the buses. However, they were being asked to vacate the Akbar Road stretch when they refused, the Delhi police officials used force to remove them. But what ha happened after that is something that needs to be noted and underlined here is that suddenly the Delhi police officials started to regather, reorganize and they started to chase down the Congress workers who were standing at the AICC headquarters. And not only they you know, uh, started chasing down the Congress workers, but there were, ch you know, Delhi police officials, including a very senior Delhi police official, managed to cross this particular uh, gate of the AICC. Now, symbolically, Sneha, that is very important, because, you know, you can do whatever you want on the stretch of the Akbar Road. You can do whatever you want on a stretch of a particular party's, uh, political party's headquarter, but this particular gate is sacrosanct in a way that from right here, the political party's area begins. You know, in order to enter this premises, there has to be a communication. So clearly the Congress leaders are angry right now and they are showing their strength. They are guarding their own national headquarters, sitting on a dharna, sloganering against the BJP and they are sloganering against the Delhi police officials as well. You just heard a few minutes back how Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary, the LOP of the Congress party speaking to India today, has said that, you know, never in the history before a national party's headquarter has been breezed in this manner. He condemned the entire incident. He questioned the Delhi Police's Act. And after that, you heard Gaurav Gogoi speaking to India today. He said that, you know, this is unprecedented. This, is, this has never happened in the history. And Go Gaurav Gogoi also raised a question mark, serious question mark, on the conduct of the Delhi Police. So clearly, there are big questions now that need to be answered by the Delhi Police officials. And Sneha, while this entire incident was unraveling, unfolding in front of the AICC, I had also tried to Come question the senior officials.